Beartooth is a band people go to for ferociously picked chords. I have a bad habit of playing really hard. Simple yet memorable musical phrases. Really simple guitar stuff, but it's really catchy and memorable. And deep, personal, relatable lyrics. Beartooth's probably one of the most unique, hardcore, disgusting, aggressive bands out there. They do a really good job of blending a raw tone, not only in bass and guitar, but mixing real raw emotions from Caleb in parts where it sounds like he's crying and talking about true perseverance over self. You know, the same reasons people love every band in this genre. Welcome to another episode of How to Write Like Episode. Some stupid internet show we started where we form a strong bomb with these people. Today's lucky band of choice. And then we're going to learn how to write a full song like them musically. Welcome to How to Write Like Hair Floof. Let us first begin by burning through some of their earlier tidbits of knowledge. First, something you didn't know about Caleb. He used to be in a different band called the Backstreet Boys. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Cats. Suck. What the f- what the- why would anybody ask a musician if they like cats or dogs? That is- that is such a waste of- I'm trying to learn about the band's trials and tribulations so that I can show people the interesting bits, not the burgers and pizza part. Burger or pizza? Are you pizza. serious? I really had no idea they were gonna ask that. What's next? Red or blue? Metallica or Slipknot? Oh, I see, I got it. I did my homework. See, Taylor loves Metallica. I love Metallica. James Hetfield's one of my favorite guitar players of all time. I love Metallica. James Hetfield's one of my favorite guitar players of all time. That's the toughest question, I think. I'm gonna go Slipknot. You fucking backstabbing, lying little... Xbox or PlayStation? What the f Why are all these questions from a kid who just drinking Mountain Dew all day? Libtard or deplorable arthrite? Um, Corporate cuck or inbred hillbilly? Shout out to Taco Bell. Soy sauce or soy milk? Oh man, that's a question. I must say, but... Kel Abshomo joined the band Attack Attack as keyboardist and he, when he was like fucking 14 or some shit. I mean, pff, it's pretty cool. It's not that great. It's not like playing bass for corn at the age of 12 or anything, but I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, so like there's this band Bear 2 started by Caleb Shomo back in like, what was it? 2011, 2012? I don't know. He worked his way up to the vocalist position or, you know, down if you're a keyboardist and was a key player in this big OG metalcore. Guy, you remember that? I remember like the OG work Tour and that weird breakdown emo core crap core bullshit. You remember those days? They were uh, all right all days. But then Attack Akarak Arak all break up. Mikhail Elbo Shomo had already started writing a different album for a different new band. Disgusting. Disgusting. Which blew up out of nowhere overnight, selling a butt tillion copies and making a billion jingle dollars. It was basically a smash hit right out of the gate success. If you want to talk real talk, Attack Attack was basically like the best band ever right before they broke up. And then Bear 2 started and it was like Attack Attack 2.0. What else could you ask for? And I'll granted that little EP was was really really great and the first album was fantastic i just can't get into the new stuff i just i don't know it's just it's not aggressive enough which was the name of no that that's ironic because the album was called aggressive <clears throat> lyrically extending his hand to victims of abuse or low self-esteem a shining example of how to survive in this world whilst being deeply depressed by the many stressful life situations of being a kid such as huh but anyways caleb shomo does all the instruments i repeat all the instruments. Caleb's cute no homo went on to write and record every music instrument again for Dear Toots' next album, Aggressive. Boy, this album sure did feel like a sequel. Big ol' disappointment. Wiley received as just another album like the first one, but worse. The songs open up in nearly identical ways. I remember songs off of the first record. It opens up like, it's dark, it's cold, the world is not my home. Well, there's a song on Aggressive called Burnout, and it starts off, I want free, I want change, I want it written on my grave, and it starts off the exact same way. The lyrics started getting just a little bit too... Overall, it just feels like a rushed out album to carry on the success of the first. Fans who don't really mind the similar vibe, feeling, essence, riff, style, and overuse of the control C, control P function will probably still enjoy the album anyways. Have fun, all two of you. By the way, if you're thinking, <laughs> who, would, who would name their albums disgusting and aggressive? It's so simple-minded. Really simple guitar stuff, but it's really catchy and memorable. <laughs> nah, their drummer doesn't just absentmindedly hit his drums with a stupid look on his face. It's not that simple. Anyways, has this random cool drummer who only uses two cymbals. Who the fuck? Why? I don't I don't know why. That's like the weirdest thing I've ever... Why would anybody else know why you would only use a cymbal in a ride? It's exactly. just... Oh, he doesn't even use a rack tom either. Anyways, I thought you'd enjoy knowing that Caleb originally tried to name the band something else instead of Beartooth. He tried to name it something cool. Noise. 
that tried to be noise. No, I'm not making this shit up, I swear. Instead of going with Rise Records to release their music, they instead went with Red Bull Records? What? There's a Red Bull Records? And they work with bands? I mean, yeah, they're hardcore, but like skydive off a tsunami wave to skate down the side of a building hardcore? He sings songs about trying to fit in with the cool kids at school. I don't know what I'm gonna be putting on screen for any of this. Really simple guitar stuff, but it's really catchy and memorable. That's right, everybody describes this band as simple and memorable. But let's take a second to think about those terms, you know, from a guitarist perspective. Simple. Well, all you have to do is hit one note and you accomplish this. In fact, from this point on, having any more note takes away the simplicity. It only adds er musicness and memorable. Pfft. I can think of a billion things in history that are memorable because they're so shitty. Like this one movie right here. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. I have a bad habit of playing really hard. No, I actually hit my strings like way too hard all the time, but it's okay because I only use like three of them anyway. Also, I found after watching a million metal band interviews that uh, everything gets really weird when there's a female involved. Are you guys gonna <laughs> always like play Jenga before hitting the stage? Yeah, that's been Work my that thing. Mm -hmm. It's been my thing. I mean, it's on yeah. my phone, so it's not the same, but it's been my thing. I mean, you could play Jenga on your phone. I was, just, I made that up. Oh, totally. Okay, I'm like that doesn't sound. <laughs> that does not sound fun at all. I told, actually, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if there was like a Jenga app. Let's say I want to pull this one out. So what you gotta do is pull it out slowly. That does not sound fun at all. And I moved it. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a Jenga app. Yeah, let's leave that there. Holy fucking candidate, Batman. This guy has got to be writing a book on dating advice as we speak. This lady couldn't fool her with your Jenga phone. Phone Jenga, more like Jenga phony. All right, well, there it is. All the information you need to know about Beartooth to Caleb, mainly, you know, same thing. He's been doing music since he was a kid and he was depressed and suicidal, but he overcame it and uses music to help other people overcome it. He specifically spoke up about depression and how, you know, being depressed is... A depressing thing to go through. Look, if you're looking for help on how to not be depressed, just play Dark Souls 3. These are mine. I brought No Man's Sky Dark Souls 3, which I tried to start the other day and was just getting demolished, so I didn't really play that too much. So from this iconic metalcore band to this hardcore punkier band, Caleb and his friends have connected with a lot of people. Still heavy, but mainly have choruses that'll get stuck in your head for fucking years. And now we're gonna have we're gonna do a little hustle. How to write like them? Here you go. You ready? You want to do some steps? Fuck that. God knows I'm not gonna be up to the task to accomplishing such crazy complicated bar chords in four four matters at like 110 BPM. So I'm gonna go let my homie band do it. I got these cool guys named Banners Rays. Holy shit, are they emotional? Sad? Depressing? Just the lonely? Just, they're here to do the band for me. Hey, let's give a big whole round of applause for the steps. Here we go. Beer tooth. Shout out to Taco Bell. Step one for in, uh, making a bear tooth song happen is this. Write yourself a little southern fried hooker in. Smoke some bat sauce. And then pick it really hard. Yeehaw! Yes, sir, Reba. You're going to pick it really hard? I'm going to pick it real hard. Pick yeah. like a bitch, you're going to get a bitch tone. Play a riff that sounds like you smoked a shit ton of basalt. Step two. Circle pits. Circular. Circular pits. Avocados. Avocados. Peaches. Good. That's peaches. Good. Peaches. Course. Peaches have circular pits. Olives. Yes. Olives have circular pits in nature. Grapes, possibly? I think no, also seeded. you have, have seeds. You have Those drums. And the drums. Seeds are a pit. Julian! Chorus Town, yeah. Building a pretty rainbow bridge to Chorus Town is step three for Banners Rise. How to how to B rise? <laughs> ah! Banners Rise. I just keep going? fucking dying. Dude. Somebody needs to build you a pretty <laughs> rainbow dude. bridge to Chorus Town, dude. For real. <laughs> step quattro. You have arrived. Wow. Alright. What the? Step five. It's time for that copy pasta. Control C, Control V. Control the cock to the vagina. Wow. You're, so it's like love therapy. I need Almost to exactly. The Except outside. there's pasta involved. 
back, step six. back to the pit. We need to re-pit things. How do you re-pit? What does that even mean? Pith, not pit. Reapply deodorant to your pit. Re-pit. Step six, re-pit. You re-pit the benefits. What? You re-pit. Re re an old lady, when she need to die, she get reaped. <laughs> Dude! Rape jokes are never funny, bro. <laughs> they really aren't, though. No, I meant like a, like a Grim Reaper who reaps an old lady. No, she I, I, to I knew what you meant. <laughs> oh, I totally thought like that. No, he has <laughs> Oh, you thought it was a rape yeah, joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, no. like... Is this all that I do this life? Step seven. Hop okay. aboard the fucking shit to Happy Land. You play the fucking pre-chorus. Fuck. That's what it is. Yeah. Step eight, sing your cowboy jersey wearing tits off. Do you own the Cowboys? As a matter of fact, no. <laughs> but we do own DallasCowboys.com. Oh, yeah. That is also not true. <laughs> Step nine. Prepare the audience for the incoming break of dawn. Yeah. Down, I, down, I, I, not dawn. Prepare for the incoming break of dawn, <laughs> man. <laughs> He plays a little doohickey on the fucking guitar. I play a goddamn fucking chord. Yes. He does some tom shit, and in I, a little bass thing, Aaron's not fucking here. China. There's China. definitely a snare involved, and then a china. Well, fuck me. Also, and then and then it happens. It, then it goes to the next step, which is step fuck. Yes. Step, fuck. step, 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 fuck. So in essence, fuck them. Who? The audience. But, 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 we're not saying we fuck them. Intentions. We're going to fuck them. With our sound waves. It's, it's a nice fuck. It's yeah. the fuck that you like. It's like the fuck that it's you not... get down to and like kill other people to. Step, fuck. Kill them. Hey, look at that. You made it. If you made this part of the video, then that means I'm done. I edited the whole thing. It's good. Wow, boy, I edited it all night. Look at that, it's like 7 a.m. It's sunny outside again. It's this new sun. It's tomorrow's sun. Black old sun. Rest in peace, Chris Chris Parnell from Black Old. Uh, anyways, congratulations on making it this far with me. We learned about a band. We wrote like a band. Man, I wrote about a whole band I didn't even know about. I didn't. Bands raised it. Go ahead and look us up on the socials. You know how to do it. You know what Facebooks are. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Holy dick, did it take forever and a half. YouTube loves promoting people that take time into their videos, right? No, they don't. Don't forget to comment down below on who we should do next. We have one song already tracked and recorded. We're about to send it off to be mixed. Then we'll start the video process making for the other ones. So that'll be like about a year and a half or longer. And uh, I will see you in that next video. So 